What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are back with some Escape from Tarkov, and we're got, you know, switching away from the uh, the gameplay and doing a little bit of commentary to talk about uh, what I think about labs, because everywhere you look, whether it's YouTube videos, Twitch, Reddit, everywhere, it's just labs, 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 and I'm guilty of it too. Labs has taken over Tarkov. It's it's the it's the reckoning of the labs. <laughs> so you know, I, th I I figure I'd give my thoughts on it, what I think should change, and also some of my thoughts on the future of Tarkov in general, um, and what we should do in certain senses. Um, but I do have to remind everybody that Labs is not a normal map. Labs is end game content. The plan that Battlestate has for Labs is that you will be able to find or buy, because we have a flea market now, a key card. And that key card will grant you access to Labs. But the one, as soon as you use it, that key card's gone. So each key card will be, you know, one run of Labs, basically. That is why. There was so much static loot around, that's why the raiders are super geared and we're our super aim body. And, which I like, I like this as end game content. Um, but we have to test the end game content, <laughs> you know? We can't just throw, you know, I get it. You can't just throw key cards out there and say, everybody go test, you know, find the key cards and go test labs. That's not how it works. Right now we are testing labs. Um, do I think it was a little too early to release labs for testing? Possibly, possibly, um, but at the same time, it has shown some weaknesses. For one, uh, the weakness with raiders and being able to alt Q and E, and they basically just look at you like, hey, what the hell is that? And you shoot them in the face. Um, it's far too easy to loot raiders. And that's basically what this patch has become is there's nobody anywhere else but labs. I, I've done so many other maps where I haven't seen a damn person including factory, to be honest. And, because everybody's on labs. Because you can take a hatchet, and you can take a pistol, and you can easily walk out of labs with 500k to a million rubles worth of loot. Easily. I've been playing today, and this is not the footage for me playing today, I, I'm not recording it, and for the past five hours, I've been using the same Glock, because I make it out every single time with just tons of loot, and now I have a full stash that I basically have enough room to bring one vest over, sell it, rinse and repeat kind of thing until I've sold all my stuff. That's how easy it is. But at the same time, we've tested this, so now we know, you know, Battlestate can hopefully, Battlestate doesn't have a great track record of fixing things, though. Um, hopefully they can fix the, the cheesy way to be able to kill these raiders because the raiders are super aimbody. They aimbot you through, like, all kinds of ridiculous stuff. So they need to be worked on a little bit, but in the, in the same sense, raiders and sca scavs have always been kind of weird. They, they never really fine-tune them the way they want. Every time a patch is released, they go back to terminators, and then they dial them back down again, and then another patch comes out and they're terminators. So I don't have a lot of hope that uh, raiders are going to be fixed anytime soon. Um, but when it comes to Labs' endgame content, the extractions are unique and I like them. And I think the the way the extractions work here should be applied to every other map. It's just something so cool and different from anything that we've experienced in Tarkov. And I I really, really hope that the, the extraction methods, i.e. turning on power for this and you have to do this and that, gets added to other maps. Um, as far as spawning raiders and stuff like that, no, this should this raider should solely stay on labs as just kind of your your in-game kind of thing. Do I think there should be a labs boss? Yes. I think there should be a raider leader that has a chance of or a way of spawning him at least. Um, would be kind of cool, like a boss almost. You know, think of this as like a a, a raid from an MMO RPG. You know, you're you got your, your raiders and stuff like that, and then there would be a boss that if certain things were done, the boss and maybe his posse would come out and you as a team or whoever else is playing would have to take him out and just some serious loot. Because think about it this way, if the labs cards to, to access labs are going to be rare, um, which they should be, I think. I think they should be rare to keep it down from people hatchet running because that's all there is. I literally did my Mosin kill 15, killed, you know, X amount of uh, PMCs 
under 15 meters in my Mosin here on labs because this is where you find the most hatchet runners. <laughs> like I would go to factory and there wouldn't be anybody and I would come here and there's like seven people running around with hatchets. And I'm like, all right, let's just shoot one at a time. So to cut down on the pistol runners, the, the hatchlings on labs, the key cards to access labs should be rare. They should be hard to get. Um, I think when it comes to groups, it should have, you should have a key card for each player, not just one per group. I think it should be one per player. So that way people can't just sit there and just go in and group in and maybe, you know, because I, I, groups right now are just the massive me, uh, meta, um, especially groups on labs. If you, if you group up and just bring shotguns, five-man shotguns on labs, you're going to walk out with gear out the wazoo. Um, so I think it, it should, the key card should be per player. Um, one of the things also is I think because of the way Labs is running right now and the way it is and what it's doing to the game, whether it be the market, everybody gets quick, you know, rich quick, um, and the lack of just combat and PVP on other maps, which you rarely see geared, geared people. It's, it's almost, I'm, I'm happy when I see someone with an SKS on another map. Um, I feel like next patch, for one, we shouldn't wipe next patch. If we're testing end game content, um, stop wiping. We, you know, we're past, we're past testing quests. We're past testing um, XP changes and things like that. Now we're testing end game. We're testing markets. We're testing higher tier gear. The point of wiping and making everybody, you know, wait a week to level up to unlock the new gear to test because this is what we're doing, we're beta testing, it's pointless. It's absolutely pointless, you know. Um, if you want to test it in a mass and, and bug test things, stop pushing everybody back to the start and saying, you know, I'll see you guys on fucking 50 hours of gameplay and you can tell me if that shit works. We're done, we're done testing that. Like, that's, that's done. I, I, there's quests I've never even done because I've never gotten, every time I get a high enough level or get, you know, X amount of chain to the quest done, they wipe. So, the, the wiping should just kind of cease, I think, until we get to a certain, longer down the road and then wipe and push back. But now that we're testing in-game content, we get to the next patch. The next patch, I think they should add the key cards in and everybody will be high enough level. Um, everyone will have gear. Everyone will focus on finding the key cards, testing their spawn rates, testing labs, um, because for the way the static loot was nerfed, because of the hatchet runners, that needs to get pushed back up if key cards get introduced. Um, so there will be more static loot, the raiders will be fixed, hopefully, and there will be more of an incentive to go in there, and then there we have our end game. So now everyone's high level, everyone's bringing in gear, because there's more, you know, they're risking more of a, you know, an expensive rare key card, so of course you want to go in juggernaut status if you're, if you're, you're not going to waste that key card. And therefore, we're testing the um, the end game material, which I think we should do, especially before we move on to other maps. I think labs should be uh, at least completed, or the the main idea proof, like you know, we test the main idea, the key cards, and etc. So I think that's something that should be focused on for the next patch. No wipe, initiate key cards. Um, and actually test the end game before we get into anything else. Um, because, especially when the arena comes, which is, I'm hoping, in a few patches, nobody's really going to give a crap about labs. So now's the time to test it, especially with labs being how crazy it is and, and hard, um, you know, and every just popular, basically. But the, it becomes, it, labs is almost a meme. It's like, how much money can I get out of labs today kind of thing. And it, it's getting kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's kind of fun. Everybody's got their own little strategies. There's so many different ways to cheese um, the Raiders. But at the same time, if there's there's no risk entering, i.e. you're not losing a rare key card, there's no point bringing in gear. I get, I've literally just been bringing in pistols and making like a million dollars every free, or a million rubles every like 20 minutes because there's there's no point. I'm bringing nothing in, there's no insurance, so I bring a pistol, throw it in the gamma after I kill somebody, and just use their gun to wipe everybody else. And that's basically what Labs has become. But I do like how it works in the sense of an endgame. Um, we have something kind of to strive to 
something harder. And maybe this is a stepping stone into harder maps, uh, maybe like bunkers um, with even more geared people, actual active PMCs, that, you know, instead of being left behind, they're still there operating in secret and even the best of the best. So like even crazier gear and harder and harder dudes. I like it. I think the next patch we should definitely lock this down though because it's just becoming like a farming simulator kind of thing. Um, and it's kind of getting a little ridiculous, but at the same time, it does kind of offer a nice glimpse into the future. But, you know, like I said, um, we do need to test the end game on it. It needs to be locked down and that key card option needs to be tested uh, to see if it's really worth it. Because right now everything works on labs minus the, the Raiders. Um, and we need to see how the key cards are going to work to even, you know, if judge if it's going to be worth or, you know, how it's even going to work. That needs, it needs to be tested, to be honest. Um, I'm looking forward to more maps, though. I'm looking forward to more weapons. I'm looking forward to a scar. We need a scar really bad. I'm also looking forward to grenade launchers. We've been, it's been so long since we've had grenade launchers in the game, and we need them back. And we need them now. <laughs> we definitely, definitely need them. Um, and I feel like, you know, it's it's one of those things that really needs to get tested quickly. Because, you know, especially when everybody's high level and with high armor, that would be something to add into the game. You know, like I said, when everybody's highly geared, that's when you're testing all the end game stuff. So you throw something game changing like a grenade launcher in. Um, and you keep everybody the same level with the same money, you don't wipe anything, all of a sudden now you can see, okay, what, what happens to Fort with a grenade launcher and stuff like that. And you can test it right off the bat. Bugs get fixed faster, kind of things like that. Um, but I'm looking forward to the future of Tarkov. I'm having a lot of fun with labs. Um, I def definitely miss the PvP in Factory. It's kind of hard to find some geared groups, and Shoreline, I usually just run around the resort by myself, and it's getting kind of boring, but um, labs is fun. Uh, the lack of geared people in labs is kind of ridiculous. Maybe every 20th run you'll see a, a geared dude or a few geared people, but even that's starting to become more rare now that people are realizing, hey, I can take a pistol and make a fuck ton of money. Um, but it, it's definitely a cool concept for an end game, and you know, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how the access to it would actually happen. So I'm hoping next patch we don't have a wipe, we get the lockdown of the labs, and we can actually see what in game is really going to look like. But anyways, boys, questions, thoughts, concerns, let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.